What's up guys? How's it going? Denny from Agate Enchantment and Rock Wizardry. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to take the Kershaw Speed Safe. This is the Barstow 3960. We're going to disassemble it. Then we're going to clean it and grease it and then reassemble it. That's what this video is about. And what you might want to do is stick around on our channel if you haven't and watch how I actually take shape and create new handles for the 3960, which is going to be kind of a fun project. It really was. And we'll reassemble that one as well to show you. But on to today. So what you're going to need for this project is here I have a Torx T8. Okay, little screwdriver. And then I have a Torx T6. Okay, for the screw sizes. And then I have a small screwdriver, which will come in handy. Of course, our handy dandy, you might want to have a couple of these on hand, toothpicks, maybe even a toothbrush, depending on how dirty your knife is. Because one thing is for sure is if you clean, keep it clean, that action is going to be really smooth. And that's what you want, right? Okay, this happens to be one of my favorite Kershaw knives. So today I'm not going to be taking off the pocket clip here. Oh, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna leave it on. That's for a future show. But to do this maintenance, it's not that difficult. However, I highly recommend, if this is your first time doing it, that you videotape yourself undoing it. Because there's some really critical little parts that we're fixing to show you, right? That are gonna come into play that have to be just right to put it back together so that it works properly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my smaller, my little T6 here, and I'm gonna take out, notice that on this side, this is where the screws are, on this side, there are screws and this cool, these cool little barrels, spacer barrels right here, right? And then just a stud on this side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here and we're just gonna start taking these off. So we're gonna whip them off one at a time, set them aside, they're really small. It's very helpful if you have a magnetic set. And I will mention this really quickly. Invest, you know, if especially if you have multiple knives from Kershaw or even other manufacturers, invest in a decent set, whether it be bits, that fit onto a screwdriver or whatever, definitely because these are very precise and you don't want to strip these out. And from the factory, they come really, really tight. In fact, they don't only come tight, but if you look on them, you see the little bit of blue on there? You see that? That blue is Loctite. And that's something that when you reassemble it, you're going to want to do and not you're gonna to wanna to use like a medium type Loctite. You can look that up on Google. You don't wanna put the red on there. The red is like a permanent Loctite and you'll have real problems when you wanna do maintenance in the future. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is take out those three little handle screws here. And one of the cool things about the Kershaw, I just wanna mention that real quick, is that it's reversible you can reverse this pocket clip. So if you're left-handed or right-handed, it's pretty cool. Kershaw, and it's a pretty precise little instrument. Happens to be one of my favorite knives. It's also my daily carry. So I'm gonna take out that screw, set it aside. And as I do this, I'm gonna make a little room here so you can see. You wanna pay really close attention when you take this apart, okay? Notice that there is a little chamber in which this spring rides in. And as you look at this spring, you can see that this spring goes through this channel and then it enters 
into a hole right here. Okay, we have a brass washer. And then this little guy right here is really, really important. Okay, it's kind of your stop. So if you miss putting that thing in, see, it stops the knife blade from going all the way. And it fits into this hole and this hole. So don't lose it, whatever you do. Okay, I'm gonna set that guy aside. And as we continue, obviously here is our lock for the blade. It locks it open. Okay, notice that we do have a brass washer on that side and we have a brass washer on this side. Okay, so we're, for this video, I'm not gonna take the handle assembly apart. I actually, in that future video I was talking about earlier on, um, take this thing completely apart and put a new set of handles on it. Not this one, I actually have two of these. Like I said, it's my favorite knife. So we're gonna set this aside. This one goes on here, that one goes on there for the moment. And all we're gonna do at this point is clean it up. So we're just gonna kinda clean up. Notice in this knife that these washers are the same size. That is not the case with the Leak, um, the Kershaw Leak, and some of the more popular ones. They're actually different size. Okay, we're gonna clean up our little My factory uh, grease here, it's actually in pretty good shape and I don't see a lot of gunk in it. And that's, they use a really good grease at Kershaw. I don't know exactly what it is, but if I were to redo it, I would use something like white lithium grease. Okay, so I have some on hand and I'm actually gonna use it on my pivot point when I reassemble it. Okay, so not super difficult, but if you, you just pay really close attention to how you disassemble it. Reassembly is a little bit more of a challenge and we're gonna start and we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so one of the things I wanna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my lithium white grease, right? And I'm just gonna put it on the clean side of my Q-tip here, rub it around. And I don't need a lot of this, but I'm gonna put a little bit around there. Just like that, okay? A little bit around the blade itself. Okay, maybe grab just a teeny bit more and do that, All right? Do that side. Like that, okay? And then it's kind of excessive, so I'm actually gonna take and I'm gonna clean a little bit of that off, just like that. Just, we don't really need that much on there, but we do need that film coating in there so that it pivots nice and smooth, okay? So next off, all we're gonna do now is reassemble it and it's pretty obvious from looking at it that the blade goes in and down here to the barrels, right? That much is pretty obvious. The trick becomes one here, and all I'm gonna do is, is take just a teeny bit more because I'm not seeing much on here. And I'm just gonna kind of run it around that like that. And take my washer, because that's gonna be one of our pivot points, right? Then I'm gonna reinstall this. Now, one of the things about this barrel, and I'm gonna try and get this so you can see it, but it actually has a flat side. I don't know if you can, uh, I'm gonna try and zoom in on that so you can see it. It has a flat side. And if you look on this side here, it also has a flat side facing that direction. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna slide it in and make sure that flat side, cause there's only one way this will go in like that. Okay, 
and we're gonna take our washer and the only thing I use this little screwdriver for is just to kind of move things around okay put that in place maybe just dab it just a teeny bit right there just a little bit not much So what we're going to do is we're going to put our little, for lack of a better term, knife stop there. It's going to be our stopper, right? So then we slide the knife blade back on, avoiding hitting that thing. That thing is not very stable and it will, you can easily knock it over and incur countless frustration doing that so notice that we're going to have to push down here on our stop but not knock that guy over okay so now i can push down on it then i can take and this guy it has to go in that hole you see that hole up there it has to go in that hole in addition it also has to our little stop has to go in that hole so we're going to be really careful we're first going to start with that one like that and we're going to move that into place like that and continue to hold it down with pressure okay then we're going to take our other handle drop it on and Hopefully move it right into place. Uh-oh. There we go. That has to be just so. And that one's in place. Then we're going to flip over our handle. And line up that hole. Just like that. Now we'll take our large torque screw hopefully drop it in there without knocking any anything over let's use the magnet that would be really helpful here pop it in place and we're just gonna secure that so now so no longer do we have to hold the pressure I'm not gonna tighten it all the way I'm just gonna secure it okay see how that works And to make sure our little post is in place, I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it for the moment. Take a look. And now, if you notice, I have too much of a gap there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hopefully move that around. And finagle it into place. If not, I'll have to take it apart again. Because that stop has to stop our blade. So far, so good. Okay? So next thing we're going to take, and we're just going to reinstall this. And we're not going to tighten anything at this point. We're just going to kind of, if you will, finger tighten it. And so we'll just make sure we don't strip them out. Be really careful with these. Okay? And I'm just sort of putting them in finger tight. Just like that. Okay. So finger tight. And then we're going to adjust the blade. And now how you want to do that is simply you want it to come out. So right now it's too tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of loosen it up just a teeny bit. Right here. Like that. And see okay so she's opening and closing pretty good so from that point I'm just gonna start cheating these down just a little bit more Oops, wrong one. okay so now they should be pretty close to tight just like that so we're getting pretty close I'm going to look and I'm going to check the gap here to make sure there's not too much of a gap to make sure that 
my little stop is lined up and in its correct holes and run my knife a couple times like that just to make sure that it's doing pretty good and it looks pretty good i'm gonna give it one more little oop, one more little snug here with my t8 just like that so there you go that's how you do it kershaw this is the barstow 3960 i'm denny Hey, if you like what you've seen, please consider subscribing to our channel. And we're uh, and stick around for that project while I take these guys and turn them into a knife handle for this guy. That's going to be a real fun project because they're really pretty. I'm actually going to customize these even a little bit more. So we're almost done with that video. Stick around. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great day.